Welcome to Programming Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about module sim topic. Okay, let's go. We see the module sim's name that we use in this video. That's the me sim 900A mini. It's quite small, right? It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pins. And the one hole right here is will support your block the external antenna. Okay? Because Right here, this is the default antenna on this module and it's quite bad. So I think you have to break this module, uh, this antenna and replace it with the external antenna to get the better signal, okay? And if you want to block the external antenna, you have to break it out, okay? Because on the module, you just only use one antenna, okay? And there's some antenna you can choose right here. Uh, first, you can use the antenna of NRFL01. This is the module RF. Okay, you can use this antenna. And the other, you can use this antenna. This antenna usually used for the module SIM. Okay, and the last one, you can buy a module sim is integrated with the antenna like this okay but it's more expensive than uh, the modules i give you okay and to use the module sim we have to use the ur protocol to communicate with the circuit and the arduino okay but pay attention about this um, you should not use the hardware ur on arduino because uh, this is you see this is the hardware you are pins the pins one and pin zero two pins tx and rx right here is connected to the computer to uploading code so if you connect your module sim to this two pins the arduino will be completed when we uploading code to arduino so but if you still want to use these pins, I have a solution is you have to remove the wire out before uploading code, okay? Just removing and then after uploading code, you plug into again. But it's quite inconvenient if we connect the module sim to the, uh, to the big circuit, right? You cannot plug and remove block and remove any time okay and the solution is we will use software ur on arduino we can use this library to set up all pins on arduino to a ur okay we we have to include software 0.h we don't need to download this library on the internet because it's already in your library when you download the arduino okay Okay, and next this is how we initialize the software you are with the name you want of this and we'll rename it the MySoft UR. And this is a two parameter. The first parameter I will set up for the RX pins and the last one is TX pins. Okay, in this video I will use the pin 3 for RX and pin 2 for TX. Okay, remember that. And this is a function begin. Okay, uh, do you remember begin in the zero dot begin? Okay, with the software UR, we can use all the function at the hardware UR. So we don't have to worry about that. And the module sim use the bar rate 115200. So we have to use the 115200 to communicate with the module sim. But uh, with the serial monitor on Arduino, we also, we still use the Barre 9600. Okay, remember that. Okay, and the last one is the diagram. Uh, so, uh, with the module sim, it needs a high current to operate. So, I have to connect to the capacitor with the 2200UF. Uh, and the voltage right here, you can use... Uh, any voltage you want okay and just connect it to the 5 voltage and the 
can sort pin to the GND, okay? And GND of module sim to GND of Arduino. The file voltage of Arduino is connected to VCC of module sim. And right here, I have a three button. The first is connect to pin 12, the second is pin 11, and the last one is pin 10. Okay, and three of these pins we use to uh, test the module sim, the second is it will make a call to the phone and the last one will send the message okay as i said i use the pin 3 right pin 3 for rx and pin 2 for tx so i have to connect rx of arduino to the tx of module sim and i have to connect the rx of module sim to the tx because if you want to transmit to what you see, I have to send the data from the TX pin to the RX pin, okay? And if you want to receive any data from the module sim, you have to connect the RX pin of Arduino to TX pin of module sim, okay? Can you get it? Okay, this is a module sim, right? And this is my sim. Okay, and I have to plug with this size here. Okay, just uh, push it into the module sim. And right here, I have a capacitor and I stick it in the module sim for easy to use. Okay, okay, and this is the circuit. I have already connect some wire to Arduino as the diagram. So I just uh, plug the module sim into the dashboard and then uploading code. Okay, I will show you the code before I upload. Okay, and this is the uh, antenna. It's the uh, antenna of NRF. Okay. Okay, now we connect to the dashboard. Okay, and this is a phone I will use to call or receive phone or receive message from module sim. Okay, okay, and this is the code. First, I have to include the software zero library, and then I will edit it. To my software you are with the pin 3e rx and 2e tx as i said uh, i will create a combined string to combine one by one data from module sim to uh, compare to check okay to check it and this is the index to count this is a chat receive i will uh, assign the my soft your dot read to this chair okay to keep the data to avoid lost okay and this is a get respond function it will receive data from module by this function okay and i will set up three button as i said e input and i will use the input with internal register okay input pull up input pull up at pin 10 11 and 12 13 I will set it to output to blink when receiving call and set the myself UR dot begin one one five two zero zero and the zero dot begin to the to communicate with serial monitor at nine six zero zero bar rate. Okay, and the other function I have a uh, two three four five about five function. The first one is here. If my soft you are not available, it means if you receive anything from I don't know uh, from module sim, I will get that data to receive and then compare it with the character I have right here. Combine with R I N G. That means I will combine with ring. So, um. Uh, 
I can buy R I N G because uh, if I receive a call from mobile phone, the module sim will send to the Arduino a string that is ring, okay? And I will, but it will send one by one. So the algorithm below, I can buy one by one later and then compare with the string we want to compare. That is the ring. Okay, right here I can buy. Okay, right here, if the data I receive R, I will mm, increase the count and then combine it. That's it. After combine, I have, I get R, and just like that, I can get R I R I N and R I N G, and then I will combine it with ring if it equal at the same time if the index e4 i will bring default let to um to mention to the user is have someone is calling to you okay and then i will reset the combined string and reset the count and with the k right here i will detect noise because uh at a, because sometimes i cannot get the r i n g but i could get or uh, uh, some special char because it's um, quite noise so uh, this function will detect noise and then reset the combined string okay and reset the index to ready to get a new data okay and then I will bring the receive to the serial monitor but the receive here is can be some data like no career or anything the sim stand to the I don't know it's just not ring okay if I press the button 10 I will send to the AT command to module sim to test and the, with the 11 if I press the 11 I will call to my phone the ATD is the command and the X, X, X right here is your phone number okay and the last one is procedure to send a message to the phone okay and this is the end notation okay we connect my arrow node to the computer and see what's happened okay let's connect Okay, now I will connect. Oh, now I will upload it. And open the serial monitor. Okay, the open serial monitor right here. Now I will test to module sim. Let's okay with AT command. I will press the button 10, button 10 on the left. Okay, on the left. I will press it. Okay, AT okay. AT okay mean uh your module sim is work. Good. Okay, that's again. Okay, okay. Now I will uh, make a sample to call to mobile phone. This is a uh, pin eleven. I will press it and it will call to the mobile phone. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put the number right here. Okay, I will uh, put my number. And I also put the number right here. Okay, let allow again. Okay, let's check. First, AT, okay. Okay. And now with the mid button, press. Okay, it's calling my phone.
Okay, you see? Okay. And you see when I um, not answer, it will display here it's busy. Okay. And it uh, if the motor sim cannot come to the mobile phone, it will display error. Or um, I don't catch the phone, the terminal monitor will bring um, no career. Okay. You can. Uh, you can test it by yourself okay now I will try to come from this to sim okay let's check okay you can see it ring is display ring right here at the same time the let 13 is blink okay you can see it you can see it blinking okay no career and now i will send some text from module sim to the phone okay let's check i will press this welcome to program and knowledge okay okay here welcome to program and knowledge okay it easy right okay and now i will try to send from message from phone to sim okay let's check okay let's check the the monitor okay here it receive okay hello okay that's the all the application with the module sim you can find out more in this link and we'll put it in below the video it will show you more tutorial of module sim okay and it have a sample code right here and it have more 80 command you can research Okay, thanks for watching.